This is Tara McNamara with uh, Crown Real Estate Group, and I have Carrie Andrews Keel with us from Icon Mortgage, and we're going to talk all things real estate and mortgages for you, answer some questions, and hopefully give you some clarity on what's going on now in the market. Carrie, I have uh, a couple of questions that people have, have given me, and so I'm going to start out just with some questions for you. And first of all, Sarah said, is it a good time to refinance? And if it is, are there any of the costs being waived for refinancing? It's a great question. It is a great time to refinance. Rates are at historical lows, as everybody knows, with everything going on. Uh, as far as any of the fees being waived, um, you know, there's nothing out of pocket. You can, there's several, depending on the program that they're going to use. Uh, they may not need an appraisal, any credit checks. So, of course, all those fees are going to be waived. The title company uh, reduces their closing fee on any refinance. Um, you know, so it, you know, it's very, limited out of pocket, if any, to refinance. It's great. The rates have never been this low since I've been in the mortgage business since 97. Uh, so I would definitely say, um, you know, give me a call and I can help you for sure. Awesome. Well, I know you can't talk exact rate amounts, but I've heard like twos, threes, fours, like, you know, ballpark. What are we talking about? Right. Well, I'll tell you, you know, um, we're seeing and lacking consistently um, in the upper twos, low threes for our government programs and conventionals. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's the best I've seen in, in the last 20, you know, 20 plus years. So if you're thinking about refinancing, now's the time to do it. Um, you know, we, we, feel that you know with everything going on when everybody's getting back to work there may be a spike for a short time and the rates going up but i still think they're going to stay really uh really competitive really low for at least through the summer um you know awesome. is, is what we feel obviously we don't have a crystal ball but they are the best i've seen in in years so if you're yeah. looking to refinance now is the time awesome now I've heard it's a little bit, it's more of a streamlined process now. Is it a little bit easier? Like uh, some of the appraisers now are not going in homes, they're doing drive-bys, is that the right. case? Or do even, like, even if on, I have- Even on the purchases, yeah. Even on the purchases, you know, we do have, um, e well, obviously with refinance too, but even on our purchase, um, purchase deals, you know, depending on the appraiser, they're, they have the option of not going into the property, just doing a drive-by, um, you know, some some just for, you know, safety precautions don't, don't want to go into the home. So, you know, we're, yeah. we're allowing them to just do a drive-by and it's it's worked out well. If, if somebody really is adamant that they need them to go into the home, we do have those appraisers that will, um, you know, but there is that option. The good thing is if they don't go in the home, you know, the appraisal, prices obviously you know what they're paying out of pocket is less because the appraiser's doing a little bit less work so right you know, good deal on that right awesome now and i've heard um qualifying for a mortgage like new buyers right now um you know i've heard that they have to have a higher credit score like before they had to have maybe a 640 and now they have to have a 680 is that necessarily the case well, we haven't changed anything. I mean, we have just, we've not changed one guideline since all this has started. And there's a, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, obviously we hear a lot out in the market nowadays, but there's been a lot of lenders that have tightened up on their guidelines, restrictions. They've uh, increased credit scores. They've done away with programs. Um, you know, they've just in, in, are just not letting you have a gift you know it, just a lot of things that obviously impact a lot of borrowers we haven't changed anything it's business as usual so for some of those lenders need a 680 credit score we're still at 580 we still allow gifts we're still doing manufactured homes those borrowers who may have been pre-approved in the past um who now think that they're not pre-approved and maybe it's just because that particular preferred lender cannot, you know, offer the programs that they were initially approved for. I hope, you know, the agent and the borrower get together and, you know, have them call another lender, preferably me, and, uh, you know, get them pre-approved because, uh, you know, if they were pre-approved before and maybe, you know, things have changed, they're 
they're most likely still pre-approved. They just, you know, have done away with programs that they're no longer, you know, capable of getting. But nope, we're business as usual and, and uh, nothing's changed on our end and we're very busy. April was a record breaking uh, month for Icon Mortgage. So, you know, that just goes to show you even with the pandemic going on, we're, we're rocking and rolling. Well, I know there's a lot of people refinancing and so forth. And a lot of people are kind of worried as far as, you know, if, if they had been affected by this pandemic where they lost their job and they were unemployed and now they're getting unemployment and, you know, they still want to get a house. Um, it, how is that going to affect their ability to buy a house? Like if they go back to work, say in the next month or two, but they've had to be off for two, three months. And, you know, if they maybe had to be late on a payment, how much is that going to affect them? Right. So it's obviously going to be case by case, but as long as they're back to work, you know, we understand everybody has been out of work. The majority of people there's been, you know, obviously, a, you know, a wide range, few working here and there, as long as they're back to work um, and they can produce a pay stub and they show active, you know, we take into account that they've been off. We realize that. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not gonna, it's not something that once they go back to work, they have to wait six months. As long as they have a pay stub, they're back to work, we're fine with it. As long as they qualify, maybe if they've went for something from full-time to part-time, that's still okay as long as they qualify on that part-time income. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that's not a problem. As far as refinancing, um, we do have some programs, even if you are unemployed, you know, there's, there's no income documents required, no appraisal, no credit check. Um, those are, you know, your, that's your FHA streamline. You know, if th that's something if they have an FHA and do want to refinance, that's options available. So, okay, but we're going to make it, it's, it's not going to be as difficult as what they may think. Um, you know, we understand the situation and everything that's going on, you know, so we're, we're going to um, work with them for sure. Yeah. Right. And I know some people are, are, they look at the process and it's kind of a daunting process or, or somebody might think, ah, I've had bad credit in the past and I, I don't think I'm going to be approved. And, you know, I just, I, I'm not comfortable with the process. It, how, what's basically the process? You know, they call you up and go, okay, Hey Carrie, I want to get a mortgage. What do I have to do? You know, what's kind of a rundown of what they really need to have to start the process and, and how difficult is it? Well, obviously, first things first, if they think they have issues with their credit, you know, we're, we're going to run their credit. We're going to try to, you know, set up some sort of plan, you know, to, you know, obviously everybody's going to have a different scenario. Everybody's going to have, you know, you can't generalize everybody and say, this is what you need to make your credit better but what we can do is you know set them up with a program give them you know options because we do find if somebody has guidance and they do have you know somebody you know instructing them on what to do they'll do it they'll follow it they want to get a home so you know that, that's the most important I, I guess the one rule I can say if you ask for one general idea of what can make my credit better um, you know obviously we could talk about this for hours but the one thing that can I, I can say typically if you have you know revolving debt that always kind of we see you know if you pay that down not pay it off but pay it down we find that that's going to give you the biggest impact on your scores raising those scores now if you've had some lates you know those obviously are case by case depending on you know what the situation was what the scenario is how many when the last one was but you know we're willing to or i'm at least willing to in our company i know everybody in our, our company does the same um same thing but we will you know sit down and give you a plan so you can be ready so we can get you out shopping you know with the agent you know in because sometimes if you feel like you can do it yourself, it may take longer. There, there may be quicker ways to get you out looking, especially when rates are so good. This is when you want to be out there now. So, right. yeah, case and, by case, we're definitely willing to, you know, take one at a time and, and help them out for sure. It's what we do. Right. And getting back to, you know, the whole process of buying and selling homes, I think it's going to be a case by case basis too with uh, some sellers are going to be comfortable with, people coming through their house and some are not. And I know there's a lot of buyers out there that are anxious to, to really get out and start shopping homes. And so um, I just wanna say, hey, 
if you guys aren't sure about your mortgage or you need any information or you have questions, make the phone calls. Call Carrie at Icon Mortgage. Call me, uh, Crown Real Estate. We're going to answer your questions and make this a much smoother process for you. Um, Carrie, you got any final thoughts? No, I guess I was just going to ask you, you know, what, what you're seeing with, you know, the sellers and buyers, I feel like the buyers are ready to get out there looking. I'm hoping, um, you know, I think it's going to be a great summer and really even with everything that's going on from what we're seeing, I think we're going to be busy as ever. So I'm hoping the sellers, uh, you know, are willing to let the buyers and, and agents come in. So hopefully it's a win-win <laughs> for all of us, but rates are great. You know, if, if you're thinking about buying the summer, you know, this is the time to do it. I, I don't know if we're going to see rates this low ever again. So, um, I, you know, I completely agree. I think it's going to be a really strong market. I think we're going to be really busy as soon as people kind of get back to normal again and get back to their jobs. Um, this summer I think is going to be really busy. I think we're going to have, a lot of homes that get multiple offers because there's a lot of people looking to and uh, it's a definite strong sellers market out there right now so anyway thank and that's you why it is so important yes yes so important to be pre-approved when there's multiple offers you guys you know that's a, that's the number one thing if you're going up against multiple offers they're going to look that you're pre-approved so now's and, the time to do it if you think you have issues get going and, on it if you can get pre-approved from a local lender like Icon Mortgage, that's even better because staying local and supporting our, our local businesses is the way to go. So thank you so much, Carrie. I appreciate it. And I will see thank you guys you, out Tara. there. Have a great day. Be safe.